أعوذ بالله من الشيطان العين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حسبنا الله نعم المولى ونعم النصير الحمد لله رب العالمين والعقبة للمتقين الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ومولانا حبيب إلهنا وشفيع ذنوبنا وطبيب قلوبنا العبد المؤيد والرسول المصدد المصطفى الأمجد الذي سمي في السماء بأحمد وفي الأرضين باب القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيت الطاهرين المعصومين المكرمين سيما بقية الله في الأرضين روحي وأرواح العالمين لتراب مقدمه الفدا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لغدة من لساني يفقه قولي قال الله الحكيم في القرآن الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال عيسى ابن مريم اللهم ربنا أنزل علينا مائدة من السماء تكون لنا عيدا لأولنا وآخرنا وآية منك وارزقنا وأنت خير الرازقين صدق الله العلي العظيم Dear brothers and sisters, Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah, we have another chance, opportunity to with, uh, with the dear brother and sister of Masjid al-Nabi. And inshallah, we try to talk shorter than next, uh, last week. And inshallah, we finish our lecture soon. Because of two reasons. First, I'm tired. And second, I know you are tired. And inshallah, we have a, around 30-35 minute discussion in English and Farsi. And that will be my gift for you in a time of the birthday of the Prophet. And I will remind our sixth Imam of Jafar Sadiq, peace be upon him and his family. First of all, because I promise everyone has a question, just write it down or ask me, I will, I will answer that. I just got one question, one of brothers write a question. First of all, I answer that question, inshallah. After the answering of question, we'll enter the topic and title, we, inshallah, we'll talk about The question one of our brothers write was about the one part of my speech. I, thought, I talked about the life of Nuh alayhi salam, or Azrat al-Nuh alayhi salam. The question was, first of all, where Noah alayhi salam he lives? In his time, what part of the world he lives? And second question was, if in his time he can, he doesn't have a lot of follower, how he can reach his message and the message of Allah to other parts of the world? For example, if he is alone, how he can reach the message in that time, he can travel to different city and tell the message. Who were the messenger of Nuh in his time? For example, in the time of the Prophet, our Prophet, Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, sent some messenger to Persia, to Rome, to different countries, to China, a different messenger, Prophet sent to these uh, countries. What about the time of Noah? What Noah alayhi salam, Nuh alayhi salam did? If he doesn't have enough follower to send them. First of all, when we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent 100,000, 24,000 prophet to the earth, that doesn't mean all of this 100,000, 24,000 prophet, they were in a different time. Means if every time one of them they passed away, another come, time, another one comes. Sometime it was happened in one time Allah sent different prophets. For example, in one part of the world one prophet, in other side of, of the world another prophet. And we call one of the prophet Rasul that the prophet, the real, the main prophet he bring a way, a new way, a new book, a new religion. And other prophets, they 
established the same religion in different parts of the world, we call them Nabi. That's the between, a difference between Rasul and Nabi. Nabi, he's establishing the same message and the same religion the Rasul he's establishing. And he's almost some kind of, you can say, he's like Imam after Prophet. We believe our Imams, they establish and they continue the way of the Prophet. The, the Nabi, Allah sent a lot of Nabis to the world. They continue the way of the main Prophet or we call him Rasul. For example, Bani Israel is one of the big group. Allah sent them a lot of Nabis and a lot of Prophets. For example, in the time of Moses alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, it was, Musa alayhi salam was the real and the main messenger. He was Rasul. And it was in the same time, some other Nabis and Prophets, they established the religion of Musa alayhi salam. And we call them in Quran, Nabi. The answer for the question they ask, is it possible to, if Noah salam doesn't have enough followers to send them, Allah sent different prophets to the other part of the world to do the same work Noah salam do for establishing the religion of Allah. But in the time of the prophet is exception because our prophet was the last one. And that's the way Allah give the responsibility and give this mission to the Prophet to send the message by the hand of the companion of his, and his followers. By the time of Noah salam, Allah sent the message of him by the hand of Nabis. Nabi, the plural, plural of Nabi is Nabi. Anbiya. That's the first answer. How Allah sent the message for other part of the world. Is it possible to Allah send the message with a different prophet in one time? Multi-prophet in one time, is it possible? It was possible. Another question they ask where he lives is a different issue and different idea. Because it's about a thousand years ago, some historian they have one idea and some they have different. But the a strong idea and a strong ideology is Noah salam lives in the part between uh, Asia, Asia we know, know, we know, and Europe, and we call him the Middle East. He lives in the Middle East in that time. That's one idea they believe. Of course, he doesn't live in America, USA, or Australia, or other part. It was the difference between Africa, Europe, and Asia. The idea he leaves an area between Asia and Europe, now we call him, and Africa, is uh, we call him now in this time, nowadays we call him Middle East. That's one idea. They said Noah salam, he lives in this area. But anyway, I don't know what's the benefit to understand that, but I think that's good to know. That's one of the idea. If you hear maybe some people say he lives in Europe. Some people, they believe he lives in uh, area between Persia and India, the between of that. That's a different idea, different uh, way of the historian believe how he lives. And that's based on the story. Most of the story is not uh, writing or is not based on the book. It's how the people, the grand grandfather, they said how uh, Prophet Noah lives or based on the what Prophet said. For example, some uh, people come to our Prophet and ask about the life of Noah. Or some people come for, ask from our Imams about the life of Prophet. It's not really based on the evidence we have from that time because uh, the truth is we don't have that much evidence from the time of them. It's about this question. If you have any question about this part, just tell me now. The person who wrote this question. No, if you have it, just go ahead. Okay, inshallah. That's the first of all the answer of the question. I said, the life of the Prophet, because I said, is not a book from that time, is not really a good evidence 
from that time we can't really say 